準備完了。Hello guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be doing a quick run through on characters free to play gamers should keep in mind when pulling and for those of you who care about that stuff, which character might be considered meta, or just worth going for in my opinion but, keep in mind that I'm going off the roadmap for the CN version which global might not follow. Okay, let's start with the meta characters. Up first we have the light or energy support unit Hera who's good for dealing a massive amounts of AoE light damage to enemies, she comes on the 1.1 version of the game with the Where the Lost Butterfly Resides event part 2, so about 2 patches away. She's an undisputed top tier support due to her insane attack buffs, which you know means that she's delegated to AI. Next we have Hades. Hades is a top tier shadow or divine grace range DPS unit, except this time, you get to move around rather than sit in a turret like when using Hela. She requires you to micromanage her divine grace constantly to bring out her max potential, but once you learn how to do it, it's not that difficult. Jen's own functor passives are worthless on her unless paired with another character who can trigger zero time like S. Hera, but she's not reliant on having her signature functor to deal broken levels of damage, so the free 5 star from the dimensional variable shop will do just fine. Next is Ling Guang. Ling Guang is a member of the recently added factor Tianyunan, she's just fucking broken to be honest. S Ling Guang is mainly a fire support unit but she has decent DPS and can literally fill any role possible in this game. In the event you'll be able to obtain her 5 star signature functors which when equipped to Ling Guang, her crit rate increases by 10% and all elemental DMG increases by 10% among a bunch of other stuff that will take too long to explain, so just know that it's really good. When paired with Jinwu, who is also from the Tianyuan faction, this power duo nukes literally every single content in the game, even more crazy than Hades on her debut. Jinwu being free and a standard unit makes it so that everyone will have access to the best DPS, who's responsible for benching the recently added S tier. Her key is broken, but the new generic Tianyuan key is also decent as a substitute, making it not that much of a high priority. Now that we are done with the meta unit, characters that free to play should also keep in mind are firstly. S Leviathan. S Leviathan is a healer DPS hybrid for dealing with your skill issues. Her heals coming in handy when playing harder content and she's pretty much the best healer in the game in my opinion. She has an okay damage buff, but nothing extraordinary otherwise, still useful for when running water team in Twisted Dreams. Her signature functor also lets her debuff enemies, but it's not a big deal. Next is S. Oceanus. S. Oceanus is a top tier melee water DPS, but rather reliant on dodging enemy attacks to reach his highest DMG potential. Ultimate skill chain has a mostly undiluted damage buff, so him and Enlil can fit into almost any team as support. He's also fast as fuck and takes a while to get used to. Next we have S Anubis. S Anubis is another top tier melee DPS with a more or less unga bunga playstyle. Red Ether Code is the best tree if you don't have his signature functor, but it only works well on single targets. Once you get his signature functor, Blue Ether Code outshines anything else, but you'll also be giving up using his ultimate since it stops the functor effect from triggering. Sadly he only has an ultimate skill chain with a pretty mare partner, so unless you're willing to invest resources into building Sobek or desperately need an ultimate or buff bot, you are probably better off running him with solo ultimate. Lastly we have S Thor. Top tier thunder DPS but for quick clears or just a fun time nuking enemies you can partner her with S Osiris for ultimate skill chain and probably get her signature functor. Also running free to play keys on her is actually decent so nothing to worry about. For your thunder team you can use her alongside Tsukuyomi for massive thunder damage output and Berthandi for shield. 
2.0 second half s meng zhang another member of the tianyuan faction is another standard dps unit with dual elements wind and thunder he does great dmg but not on thor's level just higher than sukuyomi but locked behind incredibly high skill cap i don't have that much information on him so you can just check out his gameplay on the channel or test him out when he arrives on global next year Another point to note is that 2.0 update has a spending event, in which you can get a free Tianyuan selector key. You can either use this on Meng or Jinwu, but preferably Jin. For the latest 2.1 version, S Geng Chen is a support with a new CC mechanic. Cloak, having absurdly high DPS and gathering, works best as a Tianyuan support due to how her signature key works. Her support abilities are somewhat locked behind her signature key but it's just another hero situation really. Not key dependent. I'll put out a video of her gameplay as soon as I get her so you can see her for yourself. That's gonna be it for the video. I hope this answers some of your questions and help with your decision making as free to play. Keep in mind that this is just my opinion and this is just to help those who have been asking me who to focus on for future patches, if there's a character you like that's not on the list, feel free to pull for them if you want since it doesn't affect your account in any way. Thanks for watching guys. Feel free to leave a like, and consider subscribing if you like the content. I will also leave the link to a spreadsheet you can use for more information in the description that some friends of mine recommended to me, so feel free to use it.